Hey guys, good morning. But the first thing I want to tackle is our draw straws. I got our new stainless bungs in uh, so I can finish up the draw straws. If you didn't see the other video, the uh, I, I welded our bungs onto our stainless tubing and uh, had an issue where I think it was the other one the wire wheel when I went to clean up the welds and undercut the shoulders so I could drop this flush into the top of the tank uh, I went to clean up the uh, clean up the bung with the wire wheel on the grinder and the wire wheel grabbed and uh, pulled the tube out of my hand and dented the uh, the sealing surface of our AN fitting so not good on my part on that one um, so I went ahead and ordered new bungs uh, these bungs were mild steel that I welded to the stainless and uh, or at least one of them was they're supposed to be stainless uh, bungs and I think that contributed to some of my problem here with them so I'm gonna cut these off um, make uh, make a nice square 90 wire wheel it wire wheel my AN fittings and uh, weld up some new draw straws here. So the first step I did was I took uh, the draw straw, stuck it in the uh, drill press here, and just put a little bit of a step bore on it, maybe a, it's not quite quarter inch, probably three sixteenths, so that my tubing would fit into the bore to locate the uh, AN fitting on the end of our stainless for welding, you know, just to make it a little bit easier to weld. So those came out good and I'm ready to clean everything up and um, get these welded up. So I'm gonna grab my high-tech welding table and unfold it and uh, <laughs> and uh, weld these things up. So some of you guys are probably wondering what's a draw straw and why uh, why I'm doing the fuel line pickups this way from the tank. Why not use the factory sender pickup or the uh, outlet on the bottom of the tank? Why go through all this trouble of making draw straws? Well, the uh, what a draw straw is is basically it's a fuel pickup. So much like a drinking straw when you suck uh, liquid out of the bottom of a cup, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, the draw straw is going to provide in our fuel tank for our fuel pump. So the fuel pump will pull fuel from the bottom of the fuel tank through the draw straw uh, up to the TBI throttle body, uh, back through that, and the returned pressure, the unused fuel uh, from the throttle body, is going to return back into our return straw, which is just going to be a 90 degree leg that's going to point at the side of the fuel tank and dump the unspent fuel or unused fuel. Uh, back into the fuel tank. Um, the reason I'm using draw straws is because of the diameter. The uh, the original tank, this is a 48 pickup truck, but the um, the original fuel tank for a 48 would be underneath the bed, um, not in the cab. What we have in here is an in-cab uh, fuel tank that came along with the truck. It's in good shape. Uh, it looks relatively brand new inside. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use it. The the original or reproduction of the 48 fuel tank that fits under the bed is about 400 bucks, and it's a small little square uh, rectangular type fuel tank. Um, I don't know why it's so expensive, but uh, nonetheless, we have a good tank, so we're going to go ahead and use it. There's already a hole that's been cut through the cab for the filler neck. Uh, wasn't done very well, but it is already there. So. We might as well make use of what we already have uh, rather than spend a whole bunch of money on the proper tank for this truck. It's not a restoration project. It's going to be a rat rod, street rod project. So uh, we're going to use what we've got. And uh, the this particular tank would fit a 49 through 51 or 52 model uh, Chevy 3100. So um, normally this tank would have... Um, 
a fuel outlet at the very bottom of the tank that runs through the floorboard of the truck and up to the carburetor. Um, the fuel outlet on this tank has been plugged and they used a fuel pickup tube on the fuel sender which works fine uh, for a carbureted application but because we need a return line for our fuel injection um, we need to have a second line in there anyway. Uh, the other the other reason to go with the with the draw straws is the diameter of the fuel line. You know, they, this truck had a 213 cubic inch a straight six in it with a little tiny, uh, probably a 30 millimeter carburetor, uh, pretty small throated carb, and uh, the fuel lines were very small as well. Um, I'm not sure they were probably quarter inch fuel lines, and we're going to need a little bit more fuel capacity than that, a little more fuel flow <coughs> to our. Uh, TBI 350 or 5.7 liter. So uh, we need bigger lines. Now you could do, uh, and, and we, we need bigger lines and we also need a return. So we could do a sump in the bottom of the tank. You know, I've welded sumps into gas tanks before, and um, I could have cut out the bottom of the tank and welded in a sump. That's kind of kind of intrusive, really. Uh, you have to cut a pretty large section of the tank out. And uh, then you have, then you have a, a two inch sump that's hanging off the bottom of your fuel tank. And in our application here, it wouldn't sit flat on the floor of the truck. This, this tank sits behind the seat and it sits flat um, to the floor and flat against the back of the cab. And uh, if I had a sump on there, I would have to rearrange uh, you know, that whole uh, fuel tank support area, build some brackets and straps and all that other stuff which we're going to end up building straps anyway but um, but I would have to you know reinvent the wheel a lot to put a sump in there um, and using the uh, using the fuel sender with a factory pickup tube wouldn't work just because of the size of it we need we need more flow than that so uh, draw straws it is so I'm using a 3 8 diameter stainless uh, tubes for our straws uh, the ID is Pretty close to 5 16 so uh, you know should flow a good amount of fuel. Um, I, I'm using the same diameter for the send as for the return. In a lot of factory systems, you'll see a 3 8 send and a 5 16 return. Um, you know because you're returning much less fuel than you're sending. Uh, but you know for our application, it's it's going to work fine with the same size straws. So that's why I'm going with draw straws, and I'm uh, uh, going to put these new ends here on. I've cleaned everything with rubbing alcohol and wire wheeled them and got them prepped out. I've just got to seat the uh, seat the, the uh, AN fitting here onto our straw and burn it in. So uh, there you go. It's all prepped out. I'll give it another wipe down with some rubbing alcohol here before I uh, before I burn them in. Well guys, here's a quick update of where I'm at with uh, the uh, P48 draw straws. I've got both straws uh, cut to length, cleaned up and fitted and ready to go in. Um, I went ahead and cheated and did pulse on, uh, on the bungs to weld the bungs to the straws. Um, I guess it's not cheating if you buy a machine that's capable of pulse. Uh, but I didn't want to take my chances on that, so I went ahead and pulsed them in there, didn't add any filler, uh, I just fusion welded it to uh, the extra material that was left over when I uh, drilled my counter bore into it and it worked out just fine. So uh, I got both straws made up, cut to length um, and I'm going to weld them into the top of the tank now. The bungs came out here in the tank, I went ahead and just burned them in. Uh, they, uh, they came out pretty decent I think. Um, so the straws are made up and welded into the top of the tank here. So 
a little dark in here, I guess. Hard to see, but... Uh, So that's how they're going to be oriented with the hoses. The hoses are going to come off, run down the back side here between uh, the braces on the back of the cab. And uh, should work just fine. So now I've got to throw the tank in and uh, connect up the hoses. I'm going to have to trim them down a little bit and connect up the push locks and uh, put my Oedeker clamps on first so I don't forget to put the clamp on and um, I'll be all set.